this is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Z test for two proportions. You're testing two flu drugs, A and B. Drug A works on 41 out of 195 people. Drug B works on 351 out of 605. And we want to know, are the two drugs comparable? The first step is we want to write our hypothesis statements. The null hypothesis for the z-test for two proportions is always that the two proportions are the same. And the alternate hypothesis is that the two proportions are not the same. In other words, the alternate hypothesis is that there's some kind of significant difference between the two proportions. The next step is we want to write our proportions out. So drug A is 41 out of 195. Forty-one out of hundred and ninety-five is point two one. That is twenty-one percent. And drug B was three hundred and fifty one out of six oh five. Point five eight and we also need to know the overall proportion. I'm going to call that P. You can think of the overall proportion as the total number of successes. Here's our successes out of the total number of items. So I'm going to add 41 and 351 as successes and divide by 195 and 605. And if I do that on the calculator, I get 0 0.49. That's 49%. Now we're ready to use our formula. Now we just need to insert some numbers. I've got my first proportion and my second proportion. For P1, my first proportion, I'm going to choose the largest number so I avoid getting a negative value up top. So my P1 is 0.58 from right here and P2 is 0.21 and this is all going to be over, this is the standard error Here's my total proportion, which I found here, 0.49. Then 1 minus 0.49. 1 over N1. The sample size that corresponds with that P1, 0.58, is 605. And the sample size that corresponds with N2 is 195. As we're adding these, it doesn't really matter which way round you write them though, as long as you get both of the sample sizes. And if I figure this out on a calculator, I get a z-score of 8.99. Next we want to figure out whether this z-score falls into a rejection region. We're working with z-scores, so we have a normal distribution and as we're saying, the two proportions are either equal or not equal. What we have is a two-tailed test. So we have two rejection regions. They're both equal in size. And we want to know what's our z-value here. Where's the cutoff for this rejection region? Well, we're working with an alpha level of 5% from the question. We have an area of 5% in these tails. That means each one is 2.5%. You can either use a z-table to look up this percentage, or you can use a table of values like this one. It's just a table of common confidence levels, the corresponding alpha levels, and we've got 
our 5% alpha level here. Each tau is alpha divided by 2, that's 2.5%. And this is the z-score we are interested in, 1.96. Now back to the question, does 8.99 fall into the rejection region? Well, if we plot z equals 8.99 here, a z of 8.99 is going to be way out here. So yes, it does fall into this rejection region. That means there's a statistical difference between the two proportions, so we would reject the null hypothesis that the proportions are the same. In other words, there is a significant difference. Check out statisticshowto.com for more videos and articles on everything statistics.